lost the die roll finally. But our opponent's mulliganing, and this hand is not great, but it is definitely keepable. Uh, I could, could certainly use an accelerator, uh, but this is one of those nice times where Prismatic Omen is going to fix our mana for Cryptic Command. So Marsh Flats is kind of scary because that tells me he's probably got a, a decent amount of discard in his deck. Uh, that's never any fun to play against, but our hand is pretty threat heavy, so it's not too big of a deal. Uh, then again, it could be something else. I mean, him getting a Temple Garden... I don't know. Could could mean anything. He could be a pod deck. He could be like a hate bears deck. I was thinking he's probably like white black or uh, green black. Could still be like junk colors like Willie Adel's deck. But who knows? We'll figure it out eventually. Township. Okay. So pod then? Yeah. Looks like a pod deck. Um. I might normally not run out Prismatic Omen, but like I said, it fixes our mana for Cryptic Command, especially since the last two lands we drew were not blue sources, so... Uh, I know the pod decks normally play uh, Kasali Pride Mage and like maybe something else, maybe like Harmonic Sliver, but... Uh, I think in this case we actually need this in play to fix our mana, so... So now he's got a pod. There's our Accelerator. Uh, turn too late, but still might be good. Rapid, so that's interesting. Uh, I think I'm gonna upkeep Rapid his guy so he can't uh, just get three drops. Make it so he can only get a one from this, and then he'll have to go from there. He'll have to start from like the bottom of the chain instead of the middle, which I think is good. Uh, and then we could always like cryptic bounce it if we needed to, or like even bounce his pod. Maybe bounce like. I guess he's just gonna pot into like a Birds of Paradise or something, so. Probably not that great, but. Alternatively, he could just use it as a counter spell, which is certainly reasonable, but. Uh, we're very close to killing him. Just need to make it through these next couple turns and we should be good. It's really fortunate that he's still like kind of stuck on me in that too. So, uh, does that mean he's gonna get a pride mage now? Potting away his bird. That'd be pretty bad, especially if he used it right away. Oh, he's getting wall of red, so that's cool. I'm certainly fine with that. to do that untapped. <laughs> if he makes a mistake, like, potting into a Pride Mage and then killing this immediately, I can just bounce this uh, with Cryptic. That's a, certainly another line I could take. And then next turn I could just play this and Scape Shift. Hopefully he doesn't have like an Aven Mind Sensor or something like that to mess me up, but we'll see. Yeah, Sin Collector is not good for me either. Hmm. Basically has to take the Scape Shift, I think. against the combo decks. So yeah, it takes my scape shift. And then what? So now he's potting in 
going to a four drop. I would assume red cap, but uh, post board they have an tumor exarc, which is a pretty nice chain. You can go from sync collector to tumor exarc and just like crush the the combo decks and the control decks. So you just get a red cap. Basically fine with that, and now the question is, uh, like, how much trouble are we in? Like, I could try and tap his guys. I think end of his turn, I'm just gonna bounce his red cap. Uh, I can't even really. Well, I guess I can still do that because I free banned. So yeah, that's still the play. I thought it might strand it in his hand because he didn't have enough mana, but uh, let's do that. So now my plan is to remand his red cap. Hopefully draw into something. It'd be nice if we had a Valica. We could just like, keep his board clear of creatures. It'd be pretty nice. He's drawn all the townships. Or if we had a Valica, we could potentially just kill him since he's at nine, but. I have the remand still, so he's not really looking to to just play red cap into that. So yeah, I'll just pot into a voice here probably. Not sure if he's just trying to value me out or that's what it looks like. Another wall of roots. Okay. Wall of roots. Wall of roots. Keep playing lands here, I guess. For a guy that has two birthing pods active, I've been alive for a long time. Kind of surprised. if he gets like an eternal witness here. He can get back a sin collector, but I can remand it twice. Um, although he can't even cast it twice, so. Maybe just getting a Finx and going up the chain. Harmonic Sliver main deck, oh my god. a big deal, but we did draw five of our mountains, although I think it's still okay, just because he's at such a low life total. This guy's just podding away. The ball is fine, doesn't do too much, like three, four flyers pretty big. this guy is showing is pretty commendable. Just not playing red cap at all, just relying on these birthing pods. Just does not want me to cycle a remand. So now he can like pot into Lark and then pot that away and get some stuff back. Basically just need to draw something. Escape Shift will also accept Serum Visions or perhaps Hellamore Depths. Oh, Explore would not be bad. So he'll probably get Sin Collector Scavenging Ooze and then kill me next turn. Seems like the most reasonable line.
of sixes in his deck, thankfully. So there's an omen. Um, so, I'm just gonna remand that, hopefully draw escape shift. You can kill me with these two next turn anyway, so yeah, I can't do anything. It's unfortunate. I feel like it would have been nice. Just didn't really do anything. Uh, so the angers are pretty good here. And I like a grudge. Uh, repeals are fine, but not great. Uh, like you can catch a voice token with it or something. Uh, the other considerations are just bringing in like some relics to kind of stop some of their graveyard shenanigans. Uh, depending on how much removal they board in, like Abrupt Decay uh, for Prismatic Omen, like the Urban Evolutions end up being pretty good against them too. Uh, they also usually have some discards, so those are a consideration. I think I definitely want these four though, and Repeal is probably among the weakest cards. Uh, like manualing them with Velik and Prismatic Omen is a reasonable option, so I like keeping in all the Omens, even though they have some guys that kill these. Uh, Remand is generally not great against them. So I think I just want these, and I'll, I'll cut a couple of remands. And then that seems reasonable. It's also nice, like, when you board in sweepers, uh, and you're trying to, like, interact with them. Like, this deck doesn't really interact on a one-for-one -one basis. Like, you, you need, uh, this is, like, a resource-based combo, so you need a bunch of, like, lands and a scape shift, or a bunch of lands and an omen and a scape shift, or a bunch of lands and omen and valakut. So it's, like, you don't really want to be trading one-for-one, or even, like, you know, three-for-one, like what Anger can potentially do. Um, so I, I really like having, like, the repeals and stuff, uh, just because it allows you to not die, but also just, like, draw you a random card that can contribute to your combo. Same thing with Remand. But <clears throat> I have some concessions with Rapid Hybridization, but uh, th those are kind of a necessity to be twin. But uh, once I'm boarding in Anger, it's like these cards that just affect the board and don't do anything else. It is nice to also have a hard card drawing spell, so... I think this is what I want to do. Could take or leave the relics, I suppose. I still want a couple remands. Like, if they go, like, bird into pod, like, remand is generally pretty bad. But, if they're playing a normal game and just, like, casting Kitchen Finks and stuff with, like, no mana acceleration, then remands are great. But, I think it's generally, like, the remands are not good, so. Certainly going to play first. Uh, this thing is not great, but like I said, like their their deck is not super fast, um, and I have Grudge that covers me against pod draws, and Oracle can do a bunch of work. So um, I like to save. Oh no, that is definitely not what I want to do. I was just about to talk about how I like to save the the Misty for my Oracles, but in moving it over, it played it. So that's awkward. Maybe he'll just thought he's my Oracle. But, uh, I was going to talk about how we basically always play Valakid on turn one. Oh dear. Getting off to an awkward start. But, it's alright. Don't always need the Misty Rainforest, it's just nice to have, you know. Yeah, generally I'll lead with Valkid on turn one as long as it doesn't mess up my sequencing. Like if I have like this in a flooded grove and a remand or something. Well, now you draw. Now you have the Thoughtsees. I wish you would have Thoughtsees me last turn. So now you probably take the anchor. Um, but it is better to play your land that definitely ETBs tap first rather than something like a shock land that you might want to pay two life for later. And generally this doesn't mess messes up a ton. So probably now going to fetch end of his turn for a breeding pool, as long as my oracle makes it through this turn unscathed. Man, it would 
be so good. So good. Uh, I'm still going to play the Oracle instead of the Tribe Elder. Hit a Valakut. Reman on top. Certainly not good because uh, of his voice. Since I'm on the draw, if I win this game, then I will probably board the other two remans out. Probably for some relics. Yeah, hopefully, don't get thought seized, get done tab, cast urban evolution. Maybe find some action. Yeah, sure. That makes sense, too. Alright. Land number one. <coughs> That's a Prismatic Omen. That's gonna do some stuff. Oracle is expendable at this point, so we can let that go. Just want to untap and cast my things. Two scape shifts is nice. Covers me against this Exarch, and I don't actually need the the Prismatic Omen. So if he takes that, that's also fine. He's at a low life total. I have seven lands plus Tribe Elder. Uh, potential to hit more with Oracle if Oracle's still alive. Yeah, these Rumans have been pretty bad against this deck, surprisingly. Generally like them against Birthing Pod decks, but. you have a three drop in play because your finks comes back so I 
think in two worth rolls a card. Yeah, it is. That's a card. Don't know why I was thinking about that one, though. Uh, and I don't think I can die this turn. So I don't think there's any reason to block with this, but I don't have to, especially since he's going to have a three no matter what. And there is a possibility of him, like, I don't know, killing one of my lands or something, so maybe I want this Oracle in play. Well, it still doesn't even really matter, except Tri Builder. Yeah. I don't know, I just don't see a reason to block with that Oracle, but could be wrong. So he's going to play another pod. Sensor, that's fine. Bang. Bang. I mean, I could just kill him. Kill his mind sensor. I'll teach him. Okay. So, turn six, and I had nine lands in play. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so on the draw, this guy knows how to play against Reman, so that those are coming out. Gonna get these relics in here, stop some of his persist shenanigans, and if he goes up the chain to Revel Arc. And plus, uh, like I was talking about, I think in the deck tech, against decks with discard, it's pretty nice to just have these that can sit and play after they use their discard spells, and you can just like draw a new hand, basically, so... I don't think I want or need the third one. I think these cryptics are still better, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, maybe these are just bad. Maybe I just want repeal instead of cryptic. As crazy as that can be. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's go mono cantrips. Cryptic is just kind of slow. Yeah, it's not really like I need the fog aspect. And if that's the case, bouncing things are not great. And then... like as a dismiss it is not very good so cryptic loses a lot of versatility in this matchup especially on the draw especially against a deck with voice of resurgence um so maybe i want this i can grudge somewhere but it should be okay i'll try this i can certainly see like having grudge instead of a land maybe sometimes i set out a land on the draw against these grindy decks uh so sand is not spectacular but it is keep we have velicate and omen and a ramp spell so, if he makes me discard my omen, that's too bad, but, okay, so we have a relic to, um, so I think I'm just going to start relicking him, I think I would play Valakid normally, but, is reasonable. Just get that out of the way while we can. Um, I have no real need for a ton of blue mana. So that's cool. It's not like I'm, I'm hard pressed to cast Cryptic Command with the sand or anything, so. Uh, hope he doesn't have his one mind sensor, I guess. That's good. We escaped unscathed. Well, that's too bad. It's cool that we have our mystery card in play. This could be a random card, and you can't see it. It's not bad. Hmm. Oh dear. Decision time. We have a lot of options. Uh, so I can play a land and explore uh, 
basically, I don't think I need this tribe elder, but I think the visions is worth keeping. So we'll go explore again. Uh, we'll see our visions. Uh, bottom that flooded grove, and I think we're keeping the urban evolution, I suppose. Since we're basically out of gas. Uh, so we have one land remaining. It's not a huge reason to keep a relic open. He could kill it, but I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, next turn, maybe we play the stomping ground on tap, play Urban Evolution and Serum Vision, and like try and find a scape shift. I'm not under a ton of pressure, and if he had a pod, I think he could have, yeah, he would have played it already, so. Yeah, he's got not a whole lot going on here. I guess the question is whether or not I actually take two to play this urban evolution. Go to 12, and then so it like cuts my clock, but presumably he's going to add something else to the clock. Um, and I think I just kind of want to kill him next turn. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find the escape shift. I'm gonna take two damage. What sort of shenanigans is this guy up to? <laughs> One serum can do a lot. Uh, so now we have the omen. So that's cool. That's going to work with our, our double valakids pretty well, I think. Um, and now I think we play Halimar Depths. Uh, take another look, see if we can find a scape shift. So Ancient Grudge Explore Flooded Grudge. I think we want to draw this Explore, and then we'll, next turn we'll probably cast an Explore, and then cast Tribe Elder, then cast Omen, then play Valakid, so, yeah, that seems right. Okay. My opponent is right, one Serum Visions can do a lot. Resto. We have the omen. Gonna have to do a lot next turn. What's he got at five mana? Is he gonna play a rebel arc too? Archangel of Thune. Luis would be so happy. Uh, my opponent says I think I lose. I'm not sure. Uh, so, <clears throat> we go explore Omen, play this, that's six, nine, oh yeah, he's dead for sure. They take so much damage, I don't get it. So yeah, the, the manual way. Don't have to find scape shift whatsoever. Just dead, dead, dead. Gotta pay attention to their life total, I guess. That was crazy. Okay, so uh, 3-0 now in this daily event. That's pretty sweet. Uh, played against Pod, and uh, you saw the power of <coughs> of all the velocity. Luck better than good. Uh, well, he left. I was going to say, why not both? Both is better, I think. But yeah. Uh, you see like the last few cards in our graveyard all say draw a card on them, and at one point we had... Uh, a Serum Visions, and nothing else. And then we just chained off and did a bunch of sweet stuff. So that is the power of Velocity, and that's that's exactly what I wanted to build this deck on, where it's like they can just like break you down to almost nothing. And we still have this Relic in play, too, if we ever needed to draw a card. So uh, that was pretty sweet. So, yeah, that's...
that's it. Uh, one more round left, and uh, hopefully we have a worthy opponent and we play some sweet games.